Biology, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, Universitas Jember. Plant molecular physiology is his special research interest. We invite Mr. Suri PhD to come to the stage. Time is yours. Thank you very much for uh, this occasion. Uh, Bapak Ibu, Ibu yang saya hormati, mohon untuk diisi bangku-bangku yang depan sebelum kita mulai acara dan uh, semoga kita bisa fokus uh, terkait dengan lecture dari Profesor Siri Chayil. Ladies and gentlemen, now uh, we back to the conference and I hope you enjoy the meal for lunch and after we have a lecture from Professor Zurhausen and about cancer and also Professor Han Chang Dok from Korea about rice architecture now uh, we will have a lecture uh, about horticulture uh, especially about fruits uh, we know fruit is one of the uh, our daily meal uh, after we have a, a meal with rice and especially in this talk uh, we'll focus on mango so I believe all of us known well about mango especially in uh, Asia or Indonesia mango is one of the favorite fruits uh, in our daily activities, in our daily life. Uh, and this is will be uh, presented by Professor uh, Sirichai Kanlaya Narat. For Professor Sirichai, uh, please come in front. And before we start our lecture, uh, let me introduce uh, our sp speaker of today, uh, Professor Sirichai Kanlaya Narat. He received a bachelor and master degree from uh, Thailand and he got PhD degree from University of Tsukuba, Japan. And the current position of uh, Professor Sircha now is professor at the Post Harvest Technology uh, School of Bioresource and Technology, King Mangat University of Technology, Tanburi, Bangkok, Thailand. To Professor Sichai, the time is yours. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the University of uh, Jember with uh, Dr. Prawati and uh, Dr. Su Udi to in, for invited me to have a uh, lecture here for today. My topic is uh, very simple and, and uh, probably many of uh, people may be uh, very easy to understand because uh, mango is a common in Southeast Asia, but it's a uh, a product champion of Thailand because uh, they get a lot of money. We export mango, uh, 400,000 ton a year. And then when we export uh, mango to Japan, the farmer can get uh, the income four or five times than uh, they sell in, in Thailand. The world, man uh, world mango marketing Mexico is number one for export. That's about uh, 30 to 40, to 40 percent. The next one uh, in uh, Brazil, maybe 30 percent, and Thailand is less than 10 percent. But they still have a lot of money for uh, this uh, business. The topic, the quality management of Thai mango supply chain to meet the need of the consumers, that we work with some exporter this is very important that we support some uh, knowledge to, to the company. And today we not uh, focus in the experiment. We approach to uh, the supply chain and the quality and then how to put the, some of the knowledge to the, the, to the, the company. We, uh, for first slide, this is the Mahachanok mango 
uh, Nam Dok Mai that we show in, 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 uh, in the supermarket that we sell. This mango is more delicious than we export to many countries because we harvest more than 90% maturity. When we export to Japan or even other countries, we uh, harvest only 70 to 80 percent maturity only. Still a little bit sour, but the consumer like, yes, we export. In Thailand, we export only 30 percent of the mango that, that we produce in Thailand. The another 70 percent that is uh, for processing uh, in many uh, aspects that to get, to get money. So for uh, about 30% that we export, 50% we export to uh, Japan. Unbelievable that we export to Malaysia is around 35 or 36%. Uh, Even uh, Malaysia can produce uh, mango. And then now Malaysia also try to export mango to Japan as well. In, in the research. According to the, the, the price of the mango in, in Japan, very high. So now, uh, India, Pakistan, like to study uh, our Thai uh, model for exporting to Japan. So today, I give you some information that uh, some of the uh, experience that we have sent to, to to Japan. This is uh, for domestic uh, in supermarket. Uh, next slide. Oh, sorry. This is also the Mahachinok. Mahachinok is a, a yellow type. In Southeast Asia, is, we, are, we are a yellow type of, of mango. And really attractive for Japanese. Japanese like a yellow like golden. So I would say to uh, you that. A golden uh, color is very important for, for uh, marketing in Japan at the moment. Uh, a little bit faster. This is the, a popular mango that, that we have. We have more than a hundred of variety. We're starting to try to export to, to Japan. We introduce uh, importer from Japan and then the Japanese people come to test a lot of, a lot of uh, mango in Thailand, and then they select about six varieties. Then we continue to, to work more with the uh, uh, Japanese, uh, Japanese uh, government because the first time that we cannot uh, export to Japan, insect is a big problem for uh, fruit fry, I believe, at, at, at this time. And then uh, they like to kill it. So what happened, they reject all of the product from Thailand or in any, any, any countries. Then, then they uh, send some uh, researcher to Thailand and then make a model of the uh, vapor heat treatment in Thailand and test it. And then finally they found some condition that to kill insect at 47 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes insect die. So it passed the uh, vapor heat treatment. Yes, it one one stop that we can we can export. This is some of the popular mango in Thailand that you can you can find and some of them can export to uh, Japan. This is the mango that we export to Japan. The yellow. In Japan they call golden mango. Golden mango is approximately the price is uh, 200 to 400 uh, yen per foot per foot. So uh, this is a quite good price, but the price is vary a little bit be, depend on the season. Depend on the season. Some season is a lot of a lot of uh, mango that we cannot uh, sell. Uh, this is the Nam Dok Mai mango. That's only one liter of the the mango at the moment. Or the Nam Dok Mai, they white except because it turned to yellow, turned to turn to yellow very, very fast. In a spot that we can grow um, mango in any um, any part of Thailand, mostly in the central 
and in, in the north, but not in the south, that very close to uh, Malaysia because uh, it a lot of rain cannot control the quality because a lot of rain, a lot of diseases it, it, the, the surface of the food is not really beautiful. This is the characteristic, the appearance characteristic that the market needs. So we export if they meet the target like this would be uh, successful. So very important one is the fruit fly that we have to control, that we know that uh, vapor heat treatment we can control. The second one is a big problem also, the anthracnose. The anthracnose will be attack the fruit really easily from very small fruit. It's very, very difficult to control, but we need to control because if they found in the, in the market, they will not come to buy. And the last is the, um, it the clean or freshness, it is uh, it's common, firm, it's common, free from market, uh, market uh, bruising, free from damage. It's the, it's the symbol that the fruit is have to be like that. And uh, when we have the fruit, we need to keep it, keep the uh, peduncle for about a centimeter. In, in this point, if we cut it to the fruit, it's a weak point to contaminate by uh, any technode or any uh, stem and rot. So now so they, they remain, it's about cent one centimeter, one centimeter. So every fruit has to remain one centimeter. Um, as we know that uh, oriental fruit fry is a big problem, so the vapor heat treatment that can control Definitely, we solve the problem, but this vapor heat treatment expensive. We have to buy only from Japan. You cannot do by yourself. Uh, only two company in Japan can produce and then allow to sell to uh, exporter, uh, mango fruit exporter in many countries. Have to buy from them. This is the anthracnose and stem and lot that we found after uh, sale in the market, maybe three or four days. And how to solve the problem would be interesting to, to know because uh, anthracnose is not easy to control. But at this moment, we have experiment, many experiments that can control some of them by using hot water treatment 50 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes for particular uh, this mango. 50 degrees Celsius is a little bit high. So, um, sorry, mm, too fast. Not close. Yes, we decide. The company decided to have a modern pack house, only five pack house in, in Thailand. That's only five pack house in Thailand. That can have the vapor, vapor, uh, vapor heat treatment. That they take care of 400,000 uh, 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 400, ton a year. This is some of the supply chain that are very important. I, uh, I said to you that this is a very very simple supply chain for the farmer have to take care of a very good uh, uh, mango and send to the uh, grower association, to the exporter, to the importer, and then to the consumer. And in this uh, farmer section, the good agricultural practice is very important. And then the other one is bagging. Bagging is cover fruit with uh, some bag that can control insect and can help the uh, disease uh, contamination. The other one, the vapor heat treatment or even hot water treatment, that we try to give you some detail that important to, to export the fruit. This is the GAP uh, certified that uh, in, in, in the Department of Agriculture. So after the farm, this uh, 
certify uh, good agricultural practice. Uh, the, uh, the Minister of Agriculture will give a Q mark. So if they have a Q mark, that would be uh, approved to uh, export some kind of fruit. This is the, the recreation or even there are many of the company have, have to buy some uh, contract farm to, to do uh, GAP. That have the training take a quite long time. And then this is the best practice manual for the farmer. We have many uh, best practice for the farmer. Farmer have to follow uh, our manual. Um, more Okay, we continue to the uh, Gap Mango Orchard that it, in this case, a good agricultural practice can reduce the uh, pesticide contamination on the surface of fruit. This is very important. This is the one point that uh, phytosanitation and uh, another regulation that they needed. When uh, the, fa the farmer uh, be a member of the uh, certified the GAP, they under, under understand everything. And then now many of farmers have a, a QR code. So when, when you uh, use a mobile, you know profile of that farmer to know that what, what are they doing. This is very good for the test purity later at the moment that we do it. Uh, this is the, the harvest, uh, pruning after uh, fruit harvester. This pruning, is, we, we, we use the tree just only 2.5 meter high because it is end intensive. Next slide. This is the uh, pruning performance. This is something like this. And uh, then for the Big farmer, they can use a weed management, but like machine. But in, in a small farmer, they use a, another smaller um, uh, weeding machine. Of course, that they have a, a, a sprayer by using the uh, tractor. And oh, and and then uh, probably there are many type of the sprayers. It's very common in in, in Thailand. This is a more uh, cheaper that uh, the farmer modify by themselves. I move to this uh, very important uh, point that after we uh, take care of our tree very good, after about 40 days or 45 days after full bloom, we check the fruit with a uh, uh, standard fruit that we have it. And then we uh, will bag it, bagging like this. But before, before, before bagging, we spray pesticide and fun fungicide and insecticide just before. And then we, 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 uh, we uh, will bag the fruit. Because we ha have to avoid that the uh, pesticide will contaminate on the surface of the fruit skin. So this, this is the very important for the liquoration. We, we bagging individual, one foot by one foot. It takes a long time. This is the another performance of bagging. Oh. Back, please, back. This is the, uh, many of the bagging uh, material that we use it. Even um, plastic or even um, newspaper. And finally that uh, we success to use the uh, double layer of the bagging. Outside is the brown, but because when we have um, black color like this, we uh, inhibit the penetration of the, uh, the light inside to approach to the fruit because the fruit on the surface they have a they have a color field and then we try to reduce the uh, amount of the color field to change the color later 
Next slide, please. This is the uh, backing that uh, some 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 benefit, but it's not concerning to to the eating quality too much. But it can protect uh, some insect or some disease, rain, and and so on. So uh, this is the some result that that we we show to you that we uh, try to to backing in many uh, many time. Uh, 45 day or 35 or 50 or even, but okay. And then uh, this is the uh, a good condition for the backing. And then the, I move to the another one. This is the after that is 80 percent maturity where they open the the backing uh, check for the 80 percent uh, maturity and then how weighted by by hand. Okay, and okay. I think uh, fast, uh, next slide, please. Okay, uh, this is the after how we he put in the uh, in the back and then lining with the uh, newspaper. Next, please. So then we transport to the back house. Next, please. At the at the at the back house, they open open the bag and then check for the performance of the fruit for the first screening. If the fruit is not good enough, have to remove it. Uh, next, please. Yes, they are sorting and put in there. And then even the, in, in the farm level, we have to put the uh, cover foam net to protect uh, damage from bruising and so on. Next, please. Yes, this is the characteristic and then we'll send uh, to the exporter, next bit. Yes, put in the vehicle, move to the association, next. Yes, uh, to the pack house that they have to cut Pidanka because when we have it, it's longer than centimet one centimeter, so they cut it, just remain only one centimeter, and then, uh, okay. And then uh, watching with the collinate water, approximately that uh, they take time it's about five to ten minutes. Next, please. And then, uh, as the hot water treatment is very important, that they use, they, we put in uh, 50 degrees Celsius for uh, if the more efficiency, it ten, 10 minutes. But inside may have some problem with the damage, with the internal internal breakdown. So we in the in the company they, they use only five minutes. Uh, Next, please. Yeah, uh, we work with with uh, some some uh, Siam export company. So instead of five degree uh, five minute that we we uh, recommend, we the the company reduce the time of the uh, water treatment just only three minutes to avoid some damage inside. Next, please. Yes, you, you see the uh, internal breakdown that have some problem with the heat injury next next okay so and and then after hot water treatment we, we uh, cool down with the cool the, with the cool water and then we dip in uh, at the phone for 400 ppm this is the recommendation by uh, Japanese government also that uh, at the phone is ethylene to to reduce uh, chlorophyll. So this is the chlorophyll breakdown. So this is the chlorophyll. Uh, they were they were they were uh, okay. And then uh, after that, cooling down and then put on the sizing mango with the uh, the grading that they recommend. Approximately that we have about uh, 230 gram of fruit. Mostly we export the extra, uh, more extra, and then lower. So this uh, low grade, we, we cannot use it. Next. So this is uh, preparing for the uh, vapor heat treatment. This is the the position of the foot have to do like this. It angle is about 45 angle. That is recommendation. Next, please. Yes, is it uh, vapor heat treatment? 
in the vapor heat treatment, have to uh, many lines that have to check in the in the uh, uh, in the basket. They have many baskets and then check it. In the total of the vapor heat treatment operation, it three hours and ten minutes. First time is uh, heat approach. Then, if the heat come to 47 degrees Celsius, they remain that for 20 minutes, and after that, cool down. So it takes about three hours, approximately. Next bit. And uh, then is the vapor heat treatment that uh, many of the uh, mango in Carabao in the Philippines, they have, uh, and the Thailand is the same, the same condition. 40, 47 degrees Celsius, 20 minutes, and then it's the work very well. Next, please. Then the uh, Department of uh, Agriculture, they send inspector to check the quality. Every, uh, every treatment, uh, the Department of Agriculture have to check it. Next, please. Yes, this is uh, after uh, we uh, treat vapor heat treatment, we have to cool down with dry, dry air. It's cool air. Next, please. And then weighing about three to five kilograms per box. Next. Packing again and label for Japan three sides on the box, three sides. And also uh, uh, put again, then air freight. Next word, next one. Yes, transportation and sell to Japan. This is the whole, whole system, the whole system. This slide you can uh, get from uh, Jimmer University. I, I leave it here. And more detail we have in my laboratory. You got my email in the book of abstract. More detail in many steps that, that we have it. Some, some steps we cannot, we cannot uh, explain for you because it's a secret of the, the company. And, and then this one is very important that the, they like the yellow color. So there are many competitions among the Philippines and Thailand, but Philippines a little bit smaller side and uh, not really com uh, competition too much because uh, the time of harvesting is different, different. In Thailand, we can produce two times a year. One is in, uh, in April, May. The other one is November and December. In November and December, it's not many uh, fruit. So we get very high price, very high price. So we have to select that one. All the techni technology to produce off-season, it uh, open for the, for the uh, mango association, so this is uh, uh, no secret anymore. And any country can can study, except the, because the the mango variety in different country is a different less responsibility uh, less responsible for the disease and and, and heat treatment. Um, next slide, yes, it it, it uh, passed because it is summarized of that one. Next, next, next. I think this is the already uh, finished my presentation. This, this is the premium quality up to, into Japan. Next. Okay, thank you much for your kind attention. Uh, thank you very much for Professor uh, Siri Chai for your interesting uh, lecture. Uh, because of a very limited time, so I will give only one question. Yes, please. Yeah, I'm Erika Perdede from Nomensen University. Thank you, Professor. Yeah, so far you explained about the quality from Japan standard, but it is only uh, related to the physical attributes. How about the for example, uh, the safety uh, related to the uh, pesticide residual. Thank you. 
Um, before backing, uh, we, we, we use chemical. Before harvesting, we sampling and check uh, the pesticide and send to the uh, Department of Agriculture to test for about one or two days. If some, some uh, example has some, some problem, they cannot uh, sell. They, they, they cannot uh, sell ex export. So actually, it's, it's also included in the, uh, the quality attributes. Yeah, yes, okay, thank including you. quality uh, at attributes. Yes, uh, I think the question is very good, and also uh, Professor Sirichai explained very clearly. Uh, and I think uh, for this uh, plenary lecture already finished, and I hope uh, you enjoy the lecture. Thank you very much, Professor Sirichai. Uh, saya kembalikan kepada pembawa acara. That was the end of plenary session three. You may all be seated now. And this is the end of our agenda for today. Please, all of the participants, you may all be divided into several parallel sessions. Thank you for your attention and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Perhatian. Perhatian untuk para moderator yang sudah ditunjuk dalam plenary session bisa berkumpul langsung ke sekretariat akan mendapat arahan Mohon maaf untuk para moderator yang telah ditunjuk untuk parallel session bisa langsung berkumpul di sekretariat karena akan ada arahan tambahan oleh panitia Sekali lagi untuk moderator parallel session bisa langsung ke sekretariat karena akan mendapat informasi tambahan dari panitia. Terima kasih.